What is Jerry Barcivelli hiding? In 2007, he was arrested for DUI. In 2010, a photo was taken of him smoking a joint. That's not what our taxpayers need. We need a leader like Donald Richmond. Paid for by the Society of Donald Richmond. All proceeds go to Donald Richmond. Please vote for Donald Richmond. Today I was just listening to the radio, and I kind of thought to myself, what in the hell is going on in this world? I heard this advertisement for this government official. I'm not going to name any names, but all I'm going to say is he was making a lot of claims about his opponent in his upcoming race to become mayor. And honestly, I thought this was the perfect time to make this video because I looked online. There's not many. It is hilarious that people do this. Now, what I'm talking about is an attack advertisement. Bump Captain Mitch McConnell has created millions of jobs for China people. We have a bold agenda. A agenda. He's going to fill this bus with illegals to send them back to where they came from. I support the Second Amendment. Now, an attack advertisement, in definition, is an advertisement meant to attack somebody. No shit. Usually it's used for political figures, and it never ends well. Now, this advertisement that I heard this morning was actually freaking hilarious. If you love America, if you love freedom, if you love your family, then you'll love Cam Brady. What does Marty Huggins stand for? I'm Marty Huggins and I'm a communist. That's a real shame. Vote Cam Brady. And it's funny that they can get away with this without getting sued. If I was the person, I'd be suing. And it made me think, why do people do this? They use good versus bad. They use information about you against you. They try to turn the public's opinion against you. Now, I don't vote. I don't like to vote. I don't. It's just something I don't do. Not because I don't have any political opinions. Oh, I have a political opinion, but... It doesn't matter. Here's the thing that makes me laugh so hard. These advertisements are trying to push for the people that don't vote, the people that are on the fence about it. If there were three options, it would be yes, no, and I don't know. These advertisements are meant for the people in the I don't know category. Now this is a hilarious subject because it's basically a smear campaign. Remember the good old days when you could just go up, run for president or mayor or governor, and it didn't matter. This is the part that gets me. These people, they do research to find your deepest, darkest secrets, which is kind of ironic because the people that are usually making those campaigns have the worst secrets. They use these secrets and lies to try to get the viewer to choose their side instead of the other. And they'll say stuff like, he promised to lower taxes, but he's the one that actually brought them up. What about the scandal in 99 where he said this? It kind of makes you think that the person making those statements is a little bit worse than the person that's actually doing the things. Now, in this case that I heard this morning, it kind of made me laugh because the person that they're making the statements about was actually a decent guy. He never did anything wrong. And the stuff that they brought up makes no sense. He's a small town dreamer with big town ideas on how to take Washington by storm. Washington, D.C. is a mess. A mess like his opponent, Cam Brady. Another Washington fat cat who only knows one word. I can't. I can't. Can't, 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 can't. Can't's the real C word. USA. Isn't it time to give Washington a huggin'? So anyway, don't believe everything that you hear online. Don't believe everything you hear on the radio or see on TV. Form your own opinion. That's why I don't vote, because I have to form my own opinion I'm not just going to follow what other people tell me to. If you have to make a campaign against your opponent in order to sway the people that are already voting for them, then you've already lost. But anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe. We need a leader like Donald Richmond.